remember, video is uh, a whole bunch of images and a whole bunch of audio slammed together. Okay, so if you want to work out the size of a video file, the first thing you need to know is the audio data. Okay, for instance, if it's a movie, you know, is a surround sound, that kind of thing. Once you do that, you work that part out on its own. That's fine. But then you gotta deal with the, vi the visual, right? So remember that a video is just a series of images, yeah? So you start with your image data, namely your resolution, and your um, bit depth, okay? So that tells you one single frame, but to make it a movie and to fool you into thinking there's motion, right? You need a whole bunch of images, right? So how many images will you have? What, what piece of information will tell you that? Yeah, good. Okay, now because this image data is just one, and this frame rate is a rate, you gotta need to know how many frames. So again, you gotta bring in length which you would have gotten before anyway, okay? So to work out the size of the video, work out your audio first, then work out your image, and then add them. And that'll be the size of your video file. That's it, okay? Now let me emphasize again, what you need to produce as your answer is just this part here, this gigantic fraction, okay? For yourself, for your own sake, even though it's not to do with the marks, you might like to put in these bits here so you're like, okay, have I checked off this? Have I converted to the right units? Um, have I got all the bits and pieces there? Have I forgotten about anything? I think that's really helpful. The red bits, you know, those, writing those in don't get you marks. Like, yeah, yeah, I know these things, but I can't write it correctly. But it helps you remember you actually got all the right bits and check them off. Okay? Any questions? Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So what's this bit about? It's about converting to kilo, kilo, bits per second. So it means, okay, each individual second, how many bits has it got? That's gonna be an enormous number, so we convert it into kilobits per second. That's a more common sort of number. So this is uncompressed CD audio, about 1400. And what we get off iTunes is like 128 or 256. So you can see it's been squashed down a lot, but it still sounds pretty good, okay? Good question, anything else? Yeah. Um, for audio, for the file size, what, why is it, why do you have a 60 tag on it? Yeah, okay, so I've got four here for four minutes, but all of these, like hertz, right, is how many signals per second, not how many signals per minute. So therefore I need to know not how many minutes my track is, but how many seconds it is. Okay. Good question. Anything else? Yeah. Um, why is bit rate measured? Yeah, uh, so that's a good question. Um, I guess it's this, for the same reason that humans are weighed in kilograms. Because um, if we made weighed you in grams, people would be like, oh, I'm so fat, I'm thousands. <laughs> and, you know, I think it's just it just produces conveniently comparable like, numbers. If you're, if you're if that thousands makes sense. of grams, yeah, that'd be a bit too much. You're 1,000 grams. Tens of thousands of grams. Oh, you get the idea. So um, why kilobits per second? Not, not really. Yeah, okay, all right, right. Yeah, that's, that's a good question. Um, I guess because typical file sizes um, for songs are in the megabytes, right? And typical bit rates for typical songs are in the kilobits. Um, it's just sort of, uh, I mean, you know, I could measure what's the distance from Sydney to Melbourne in centimeters or feet. I could. But the numbers, they're not very helpful, really. They're just excessively large. Or I could measure it in light years, but that's also not very helpful because it's like, yeah, it's 0 0.000000001 000 000 000 light years to Melbourne. Like, it's not a useful measure. So I think they're just trying to make the, the size of the numbers convenient. 